I sit here, insecure and not fearing to admit it. I sit here, sinking in the feeling that it will never be enough. I sit here, on top of the highest peaks and the lowest canyons. I sit here, insecure and not fearing to admit it. There's a poem that says you look like your favorite person from your past life. When I heard that, I simply laid on my sheets and I cried. Because now I see myself through the eyes of my lover and I know now that it doesn't get any sweeter than this. Eyes like honey and skin like old books, a mind so pretty and a heart of gold. Maybe that's what they thought of me lifetimes ago. My soulmate, I mean. Staring at the mirror, interrogating my skin, asking it why it cannot hold consistency to save its life. Peeling away at it like some drenched piece of journal paper. I ask myself how my lover would view it. Would they cherish it? Would they accept it? Would they fear it? I choose to believe they would look at it for what it truly is. A part of me. They would see my scars and think about their histories. And they would see my beauty and all of its contradictory. The coolness I carry and the warmth I bestow. Desperately and curiously mysterious, with my heart on my sleeve. Calculating the depths and meanings behind every situation and going with the flow. Grasping at the will to do better and simply wishing to just be. Maybe they wouldn't just simply look at me, be willing to see me. Would they notice the way I crave to paint the sunset every dusk without fail? See the way I worship Mother Nature in all of her glory? See how I stop to pet every dog? How I write the way my father does? What would they really think of me? Maybe if I could just speak to them, my soulmate, then I could understand. But without knowing, I sit here still, insecure. But this time, it is the insecurity I am secure in, knowing that imperfection is human, and human is okay. <laughs>